Yo, what is going on guys? Discord tutorials back here again with another video. Uh, this is going to be a dino, dino tutorial today. I apologise, it's been a little while since I have uploaded. Been a bit busy, but hopefully this is going to be the start of frequent uploads and I'll try and bang one out every couple of days, every week or so. So like I said, today we're going to be starting off with Dino. There has been a few updates to Discord itself and Dino since I last made the video. So I thought best to update you guys on Dino. If you guys do have any questions or more in-depth stuff, just leave a comment down below. I'll try and make an update video short or I'll simply comment to support you because I'm going to be going quite quickly through this video to not make it be too, too long. Your first step will be to head on to the Dino website. I'll link this down below for you. Press add to server right there on the main screen. You'll be prompted with three options, the free Dino, the premium Dino, and the custom premium. I will be going ahead with the free one just to show you the most basic one. Once you log into Discord, you'll get this prompt to add it to your server. Click your correct server. Personally, I would leave all the permissions as is. Go through the capture. Once you have gone through the capture, you'll be prompted with the dashboard and the bot will now be in your server. In which case, first things first, make sure you either make a bot role or add the role to uh, above any sort of uh, roles you want to be moderated or as such. This is just a basic server setup I've got going on. Made a few log channels, a few different channels. On the dashboard here, you'll have your prefix, as Dino did move to slash commands a few years ago, but Dino does still allow text commands. Updates channel here is essentially just a channel for you to select uh, where the updates will go to, because as Dino gets updates, you can have the updates sent to your Discord. If you don't want this, just hit on the X and click save. Time zone here, which will be the time displayed under all commands. Personally, from Europe, London, so I've put uh, my time zone over here you can put a custom nickname or you can just right click a nickname in through the server really up to you the manager roles here this is the role to be able to edit and configure this spot if you don't want your staff to be able to edit and configure it just leave it as blank um which apparently you have to have one oh no it's just bugging um in which case those guys will be able to edit and configure the bot just do be aware that anybody that has the administrator permission within Discord will be able to edit and configure your bot regardless of who is in here. These will simply give it to the users that do not have the administrator permission. So what I was thinking is I'm going to go through the modules, going to go through one or two, show you how to set it up. Then I'm going to go through a few commands. And again, if you guys need help with a specific command or module, drop it in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. To start off with, I'm going to go through welcome. Just because I feel like it's a general one that most people are going to use. Make sure it is enabled and select it on. Otherwise, it will not take effect in your server. Then make sure you click settings. have got a few different options here for the free version. You've got just a simple message by itself. You can have an embed, which you can configure as you see here. Adding different um, fields to it as you wish. Make sure you press save when you're done, however. Or you can have an embed and text, meaning it essentially combines both message and embed together. You'll have a message that, that gets sent along with the embed as well. In either the message or the embed, you do have variables which you can select. For example, user avatar, username, server, channel, role. Um, I believe there are more than this. You'll just have to look on the Dino documentation and you can add them within your... Over here will be the channel option where the message gets sent to. You can either select the channel or you can have it DM them in a private message. Regardless, it's up to you and it depends on your setup and circumstance. Again, make sure it's selected on the top right as well. Back to the modules, I'm going to show you how to do logs. Logs are very important for any major Discord server. This will allow you to see what's happening in the server, which members are taking actions, which members have actions taken against them. At the top here, you've got three options, which you can specify. At the top, you've got three options, which you can specify channels for each event. I'll be going into that in a second. You can show the avatar on join leave, which will on join leave uh, logs. It will show their avatar. If not, it will just be a normal embed. And this one here is what new accounts are considered. 
again, make sure it's turned on top right. Now for the default settings, which is just for every log, this will log in one specific log channel. So if I wanted just one logs and it will show everything, then I can do so. So then once I've got my one log channel set up, I can then specify which specific logs I want to log to that channel. So let's say you only want messages to be logged. You will just put your um, your message events and you know, log them all. If you don't want anything to be logged at all, you just turn off the module and unselect them. However, I recommend not doing it this way because one channel is very, very clustered. And if you want to look for a specific log, it's going to be a bit hard to do so. At the bottom, you've got ignore channels and roles, meaning that um, if you select and ignore channels like your admin or management channels, for example, they will not be logged whatsoever. The bot will not listen for them. The same thing for ignored roles, for example, if you don't want your owner to be logged or anyone in that sort of nature, you'll just put the role in there and then any message they sent will not be logged or sent to the log channel whatsoever. Going back to the top, if we click on specify channels for each event, you will now be able to specify a channel for each event you want to be logged. If you don't want that specific event to be logged, just leave it where it says uh, select channel. Or once you put a channel in there, you just press the X, get rid of it, and that will no longer be logged. So personally, for all the message events, I will put a message channel. For the member events, I'll put in a member channel. Role events, I will put in a role, uh, sorry, server channel. Channel events will go in my server channel too. Same with emoji events. Voice events will go into a voice channel. And invites will go into my server channel too. Member join and leave over here. I'd, I personally put in specified join and leave channels. But it's really up to you. It depends on your setup, your circumstances and your need. So you really can customize as to how you need it and how your server wants it. So it's really hard for me to sort of uh, demonstrate and show because of obviously each server has a different need however if you have trouble setting this up and you need more information drop me a comment down below I'll get that to you as soon as I can again you've got the same ignored channels and ignored roles at the bottom here in which case you can specify any channels or roles you don't want the bot to listen for and it won't do so uh, next thing guys I'm going to be going into the commands now again I'm going to show you command or two because most of this setup specifically is quite self-explanatory and it is the same across all commands. Now at the top here, you've got categories of commands which Dino holds. Most of them are turned on by default and you can enable slash disable all under every category if you wish to enable or disable all of them as need be. Again, really, really depends on your setup and your circumstances within your server. If you need any help specifically, do drop me a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, I'm going to go in and show you the warn command specifically, just because I feel like it's a good example of this. Now, within each command, you do have four separate options within them, which you can specify, and you will need to do this for every command that you need to use. Sadly, it is a pain, and it is quite a long and tedious setup. But once that setup is done, you generally don't have to touch it again. And then it is sort of complete. So jumping into the warn command, you've got four options. That being allowed channels, ignored channels, allowed roles and ignored roles, which work in the exact same way as I explained earlier. For the allowed channels, if you want the command warn to be allowed only in a specific channel, you can specify that here. General being it only working in general. Or I can specify the whole category, text channels being this one here, meaning it will work in both of these channels, but will not work in any of the other channels. Or if I want it to work in every single channel, I'll just leave it blank. And then it, that won't be affected whatsoever. Then for the ignored channels, if I don't want it to work in a specific channel, I can select either the channel specifically or the category once again, and then it won't work in that sort of, in that category or channel as you specify. If you want it to work in every channel, you don't want it to be ignored whatsoever. Again, leave it blank and it will work. Ignored and allowed roles work in a very similar way. If you want it to be allowed for specific roles, you will need to specify them here. You cannot leave this blank. Anyone with administrator permission, which is obviously at the bottom, will be able to use every single uh, command regardless of what this setup is. However, if they don't have the administrator permission, you want them to use it, 
you are going to have to specify them here. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to use it. Again, ignored roles, meaning that, say they've got the admin role, but they don't have, but they've got another role you don't, you don't want them to be able to use. You just put the, the role in here. You don't want to be able to use it. And then that role won't be able to use the command. Just press save and, and it will update. Most of these commands all follow the same sort of um, flow and they will have the exact same setup. But if there is a question you have about this in specifics, just comment below and I will get back to you. I think due to the complexity and differences in server setups, that is really going to be it in terms of what I'm going to show you. If you guys do have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. As I've said, I'm sure about 20 times. I do apologize for that. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep notified when we do upload a new video. I think that's going to be a goodbye from us and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Peace out.